Well, the reason I say medial section is because anything that is not does not move will be an oval. Uh, that with uh, some speculation because we are going to be using some ovals for pure parts that do move but it's because of lo limited mobility. We'll get to that later though. So starting off at the head, after the head we have the neck. Next the moving joint, so we're just going to do it as one small circle. Below that we're going to do an egg shape. Now this is where we're going to dictate what sex our person is. For this one this is Kung Fu Steve, so I'm just writing his name at the top up here. Kung Fu Steve. Why do we call him Kung Fu Steve? I don't really know. It's been this way for so many years that I actually forgot the reason why we call him Kung Fu Steve. All right, so from head to neck to upper torso, we're gonna do the pelvic area, which is gonna be another circle laced over the side, over the top. Now, this is where the abdomen connects to the, to the upper torso. So this is gonna be our hip joints, where our hip joints, our legs, everything's connected to this one section right here. Now, doing a leg, I'm just gonna do one quick succession just because it's easier. On the left side, I'm gonna do a circle, oval, circle, Oval, circle, oval. Real quick, circle, oval, circle, oval, circle, oval. It's just like beating, just do it. And then you're gonna do the repeat on the other side. Circle, oval, circle, oval, circle, oval. Then, so there we have our two legs. So then we gotta deal with the arms next. So going back up to this top half, circle, circle I'm just going ahead and doing two but watch what I'm about to do because I'm going to do one side one way I'm going to do the other side op a different way so make sure you're paying attention to both so circle oval circle now we've done the length of the arm so shoulder upper arm elbow to forearm now at the wrist section I am going to do an oval because of the limited mobility of it you can go up and down but you can't really go side to side that much so because of the limited mobility, we're gonna change up the shape a little bit to what we like to commonly refer to as the pancake hand. The pancake hand, because it's a flat hand, it just is there to show that the hand's existing. Now, on the other side, we're gonna do the shoulder to the upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, circle this time, because we gotta talk about fingers. Now, if you hold your hands out in front of you, the thumbs point towards each other. So they're pointing towards your face. If I was looking at the palm of my hand, the thumb is pointing away from my face. So because Kung Fu Steve is gonna be looking at us, the thumb is gonna be pointing towards us. Now, digits. For the thumb, you have one, two sections. For the hand, you have one, two, three sections. So just looking at your finger real quick, one, two, three sections indicated by three different joints. So we're gonna start off one, two, three, four. Four the four little bits on the hand. I'm gonna zoom in for some of you because I know it's hard to see. Four pieces of the hand, we're gonna do the index finger and the ring finger at the same time. Because of most people, they're about the same length. The ring finger sometimes a little more, index finger sometimes a little less. Middle finger next, one, two. Pinky last, one, two. Make sure that the pinky is the smallest, index finger, ring finger, about the same size, middle finger is the longest, and the thumb. Make sure you got all five digits on your paper. There's Kung Fu Steve. One quick more look, one more quick look, and you should have the following on your paper. Okay, we'll pause this and come back for the next section. Okay, we've just completed the human figure. Voila, if you've got this done, we're moving on to the next section, movement. Now, for this one, I'm gonna turn the paper sideways. I'm gonna really quickly run through these three people and I'm gonna make it fast so that we can move on to what we gotta get done for the day. All right, let's start off with the namesake. What's his name again? Kung Fu Steve. So, start off with the head to the neck, upper torso, pelvic. One leg going straight down. One leg coming out. And then the arms, one. Now, because the arms are gonna be crossing in front of the body, 
portions of this you won't see. So if you don't see it, you don't draw it. So there we have our Kung Fu Steve. On the left side of them, we're going to draw Running Steve. Head, neck, upper torso, pelvic bone, hips strutting out, leg running down, other leg coming back. Arms coming forward. Other arm coming back. Now notice I didn't finish the arm. Why? Because it's on the other side of them. You don't see it. Don't draw it. So, running Steve. And to the other side, we're going to have sitting Steve because after so much exercise, man needs to take a rest. Upper torso. Now this is where it gets a little dicey, people. Got the two hips that jut out. Notice how they're coming out at an angle. From here, they drop straight down. One, two. Draw a cube beneath him. And dress it up a little bit. Bring in the back of the chair. Shoulders come down. And we're going to draw the arms of the chair lat next. Now for the arms of the chair as they descend down. Have him in a sitting position. Sitting Steve. Now, after you got all those done, I want to see three more of your own design. Preferably. Hey guys. Hey guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that video there. If as again, as always, if you guys have a question or comment or concern, raise your hand down in the comments below. I'm always have to answer the questions from my students. Uh, and also don't forget to uh, do your homework, which is like subscribe share on all the various platforms And as always, I will see you guys next class later guys So doth potato head oh does doth protest uh, Yeah all right, this is definitely going to need to be the thumbnail. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's going to be the that's going to be the thumbnail.